And in the last month, we've done around 80 dives, 80 sites between Perth and Adelaide. There's so much reef out there and it's such a diversity of species. It's really been a dream for a long time to be able to sail and spend you know, quality time at sea around the south coast and it's such a remote and wild area. Spending like anywhere up to five hours a day underwater counting everything we could see. It's been really fascinating to see when some species come in and others drop out and also the species that just like are continuous like all the way across the reef you know it doesn't matter where you dive you'll always see like these same species. I mean definitely one of the most iconic ones that we just you just see everywhere is the golden kelp colony radiata so it doesn't matter you know, in Perth it's abundant it's common it's everywhere you know down the capes up into the bight across you know to Adelaide everywhere you go if the, reef, if the reef's a bit exposed you just find golden kelp it's just remarkable. For sure one of my most favourite species as we've come across has been the blue groper. Some of these reefs are so remote like the numbers of blue groper is just remarkable you know across a 50 metre stretch of reef you might find a dozen like you often get to the bottom and there's like the big male will come up and check you out and he'll just like accompany you like throughout the dive. So up and down the transect he sort of just follows you along. You stick your head in a hole looking for stuff and you pop out and he's just like there like face up next to yours like looking in the same hole and you sort of like feel like we'll give each other a thumbs up. Then he'll swim off and check out your buddy and come back and check in. And it's just, it's just really cool to have such big animals, you know, these big males, they're, often, they're about a metre long. And the reason why we're seeing such high abundances on some of those offshore islands and reefs is just how remote they are. Blue groper in particular is really slow growing, super vulnerable to, to fishing. You only have to see you come into metropolitan areas or somewhere where there is a large human population and, and they just drop out. You just don't see them on transects and, and nothing like the huge numbers that you see sort of out on a lot of these islands of the Great Southern Reef. The blue groper performs a really important ecological role. You know, they're really strong predators and on these offshore reefs where there's such high numbers, at any time you might look around, there's eight blue groper and about four of them have their head in the reef, like chewing away on the invertebrates and species living in the reef. And so they really keep the reef in balance as well. And when we lose those species, we lose that controlling effect. They're the sheriff of the reef. We've got so much to be grateful for in the Great Southern Reef. We also have so much to lose and so, you know, my wish is that we protect these habitats that we've got. We're so privileged and we're so fortunate to have these just remarkable reefs in our backyard. These reefs have been there for millions of years. I want to see them last, you know, the next million and, you know, we've got some massive pressures on the way, like climate change is happening, it is impacting our reefs and it's happening quickly. The best measure we have is to reduce emissions, cut emissions entirely, and it's just imperative that, that we get on and do that. I really hope that, yeah, for my kids, grandkids, and, and all future generations that can enjoy those reefs as we see them today.